What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2013 Chevy Malibu and today we're going to program an additional key for this car. So this car uses the smart key system. As you can see we have the push start right here. Uh, ¿Cómo estamos compañeros? Hoy vamos a programar una llave para este 2013 Chevrolet Malibu y este sistema usa la llave inteligente. Aquí lo tenemos y como pueden ver pues ya necesita una al cliente. As you can see here guys, the customer already needs a new key and we have an uncut key, non program key as you can see. It's not program and this one, well, works fine. So today we're going to use this scanner tool. Hoy vamos a usar esta herramienta, es muy muy buena herramienta, se la recomiendo que la compren si se dedican mucho a esto de locksmith. Um, I would recommend you guys to buy this tool because it's amazing. Um, you, can program, you can program pretty much any key with this um, scanner tool. This is the Maxi IM608. And well, today we're going to program this key. So we're going to do an automatic bin. And for this, we're going to turn on the hazards. That way we don't uh, let the vehicle go into sleep mode. Entonces, prendí las hazards porque no quiero que el carro se duerma. Entonces, así va a funcionar el autodetección del bin number. Y pues, como pueden ver, esta llave está muy, muy, muy mal estado. Y tenemos que programar una extra para el cliente. Entonces, hay unos pasos que se deben de seguir para esta programación. No es nomás darle clic, clic, clic. Y listo. Tenemos que hacer... Entrar al sistema de inmovilización. Y tenemos que poner un pin code. Uh, for this system, we need to use a pin code. Because... Um, the newer uh, gym styles, they, they now have a pin code. And if you don't have the pin, then you're not going to be able to program the key. So let me just take it out of the package here. And as you can see here, this is a bridging key. So let me just wait for the scan to gain communication and I'll come back. All right, as you can see here, we already have communication with the car. So we're going to select Chevrolet. Let's go. And here's the pin number. It's going to decode it. And it's gonna give me the right information for this car. And as you can see, 2013. So we're gonna press yes. And we have a smart key. So the blade key is when you use this and you insert it to actually start the cars. But on this system, we use the smart key because we have the push button. So, ya entramos aquí en el sistema. Vamos a ir ahorita a Immobilizer Scan. We're gonna choose Immobilizer Scan. And it says press the start button once. I already did. That's why the cluster is I'm the cluster is on. Entonces dice que le presionemos una vez al botón para que abra la la llave en accesorios. Y pues como tenemos una llave extra, bueno, la original si sí lo abre. Si perdieron todas las llaves, también puede este escáner hacer eso. As you can see here, if you lost all the keys, you can do all keys lost. So we're gonna add a smart key. And well, as, as you see, we need to get the pin number first. So we're gonna select yes. And actually it says you need the cable to run it to the um, the box there, but I'm gonna do it without it. And turn the hazards on, that way it doesn't go to sleep. And it actually opens the switch by itself. I didn't do anything. So it's gonna read the pin code right now. I'm just gonna give it once. I'm gonna give it like a second or two. It's gonna read the pin right now. So you don't really need the internet for this. You can do it without the internet. I have the internet on, but it it really doesn't matter if it's on or off. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the pin, give me the pin. All right, guys, so as you can see here, the pin code has been read successfully. So we're gonna press OK. And it says if you want to clear codes, uh, we don't want to clear codes because we didn't do anything. It says, do you want to start the key learning process? So yeah, we're going to start this. And it's going to tell me to press the button once on this. So as you can see here, we should have that message right there. I already did it, so we're going to press OK. And now it's going to tell me to insert the key into the special slot where the key is going to be programmed. So on this car, 
from 2012 I believe to all the way to 2018 the slot it's right here if you can see that little square right there we're gonna insert the key we want to program into that slot right there so we're gonna put it like this it actually doesn't matter how you put it but just put it there we're gonna take out the key from the car the original and as you can see here it says take other keys out of the vehicle so we're gonna take the original key out I'm gonna put it on the roof and we're gonna press ok so it says to input the pin code and as you saw it was 7700 that's a pin code it says to make sure you have the right pin code and we press ok it says please switch the ignition off so we have the ignition off and it's gonna configure the system come on so it's gonna ch check the pin code and the process is gonna take about 12 minutes so we're gonna wait after we get it done we're gonna have a message here how many keys you have now programmed so remember uh, I don't know if you saw at the beginning we had three entonces ahorita vamos a esperar el proceso que llegue de 12 minutos esto pasa rápido entonces una vez que esté eso listo vamos a ver aquí en el clúster que va a llegar que va a decir que tenemos ahora cuatro ya programadas y si no vieron al principio nomás decía tres entonces vamos a esperar este proceso y una vez que llegue ahí vamos a ya tener cuatro llaves programadas entonces voy a regresar ahorita en un ratito después de que esto llegue a los 12 minutos ok so the 12 minutes have passed already entonces ya pasaron los 12 minutos ahorita está prendiendo la llave so we should see there ready for remote four so it says press the start button once there we go so we're gonna press ok and it's gonna configure the system. I'm gonna turn off the hazards now. So we're gonna wait. Actually, we have ready remote five. I was wrong. It was four. Entonces era el quinto. Pensé que era el, el número cuatro, pero no, va a ser cinco. Entonces parece que está. Ahí dice the current uh, key is complete matching. So it says if you want to program another key. Uh, dice que si quieres programar otra llave después de que ya está eh, programada la otra entonces como nomás vamos a programar una entonces vamos a poner que no ya está listo entonces vamos a apagar el switch so the switch is off and we're gonna just press the start button once for 12 seconds so we're gonna uh, leave it pressed until we see the switch ok there we go come on turn on Come on, come on, turn on, turn on. Okay, so we release the button, we press OK, and now it's gonna configure the system again. Entonces, todos estos pasos los tienes que hacer. Okay, so now we're gonna press it a long start until we illuminate the instrument cluster. Entonces, ahorita vamos a presionar, déjalo apretado hasta que se presione, hasta que se prenda el cluster. A ver, vamos a ver. Here we go, we leave it pressed. Should turn on. There we go. So we have the message off now. And come on. And as you can see, the key is still in there. La llave todavía está ahí, no la he movido. Ahora dice que apaga el switch. Switch is off. Depress and start the car. So now we're gonna depress, press the pedal and start it. And there we go. Entonces ahora, now we're gonna wait five seconds and we're gonna turn it off. Okay, so the switch is off. Okay, I think. Okay, we're gonna press it off. There we go, switch is off. Stop the engine, open and close the driver door. And now it says remove the skirt. Remove this, the smart key from the slot. Lo vamos a quitar y que presionemos si ya funciona. 
Okay, open and close the driver door. Okay, so now remove the smart key, press the lock and unlock buttons at the same time and release both. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with one hand. Okay, so I already did that, we're gonna press OK. Is there another key to be synchronized? And we press no. So we have a number matching keys, four. So we're gonna wait and get out of the system. So we succeeded. And now we're gonna test our key. Okay, it says use transmitter to pocket start. So now, and there we go. So I believe the uh, the battery inside is not working. Creo que la batería no le sirve, entonces ahorita se lo va a cambiar. Pero ya parece que ya ya funciona. Entonces ahorita voy a ir a cambiarle la batería y pues voy a regresar para que vean que sí funciona. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, so everything's working fine. All right, so this will be pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, este va a ser el final del video. Espero que les haya gustado. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you find this uh, information useful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I'll see you on the next episode. See you fix out. Bye.